Hello! In this tutorial, we're going to talk about several types of questions in Kobo Toolbox. Now, to be able to add a questions, you need first to build a project and create a form. So we go and click the new button. A window will appear with four options. Build from scratch. If you want to create a new form from scratch, use a template. If you already had a form that you saved it as a template in the library to use for later on, upload an XLS form, import an XLS form via URL. Now, since we're going to explore several types of questions in Kobo Toolbox, and this tutorial is for demonstration, I'll choose the first option, Build from Scratch. Project name, question types. Demonstration and I'll click Create Project. A message will appear. This form is currently empty. You can add questions, notes, prompts, or other fields by clicking on the plus sign below. We'll click the plus sign and now we have a new button Add a Question. Once clicked, a list of several types of questions. Will appear to me. Select one. It is used when you have a categorical question with a list of predefined options. And the participant needs to choose one option among the list. As for example, I write the question What is your age? And here I'm going to write the options, 18, 22, 23, 27. To add more options, click below, 28 till 32, and 33 or more. To add the second question, I'll click the plus sign, add question, and to select many. This top is used when the participant can choose several options among the list presented. That's why it is also called multiple response. Example, what device do you use when learning online? Desktop, laptop, mobile phone, tablet. I'm going to choose text. And this will allow participants to write words or text. As for example, what is your name? I'll choose number. Number is used when the participant needs to type an integer, a whole number. As for example, for the question, how many days per week do you learn online? Now for decimal, when the participants need to write a number with decimals, I'll choose this option as for example for the question what was your average grade in the last semester? Now date. Date is used to enter a date as for the question, what is your birth?
time. When we ask participants about an exact time, as for example, what time does your school start? Add a question. Now, date and time to enter a date and a time. On what day and time did the training start? Now, point is to select a GPS location. As for example, record your current location. Add. Now, photo, audio, video. Photo allows you to take a picture or upload a photo. Audio to uh, make a recording as audio or upload an audio file and video to record the video or upload a video. I'll choose a photo and the question will be upload a photo about online learning Line is used to record a line of two or more GPS coordinates. Note the question does not allow for response value. Instead, you can use it to add instructions or additional information to uh, make things clearer to the participant. As for example, I'll click on note. Next, we are going to talk about other types of questions in Kobo. Toolbox. Barcode QR code. This question allows the user to use the built in camera to scan a barcode or QR code. Now, uh, acknowledge question displays a single option to select, which is OK. Example, if you agree to continue with the survey, click OK. Now, area allows you to draw an area on a map of several multiple GPS coordinates. Uh, note that the first point will be the same as the last point. Rating, this type of questions allow participants to uh, give a rating of one item or several items Using a common scale, as for example, uh, a rate scale from 1 to 10 or from, from 1 to 3 where 1 is not satisfied and 2 is neutral and 3 is satisfied. Example, rate your online 
learning experience option one not satisfied option two neutral to add an option i click the plus sign and here satisfied to add another item i click here plus wait your online assessment same options Question matrix. This type of question allows users to create a group of questions to be displayed in a matrix format. But this only works when using Enkito and utilizing the grid theme layout. Ranking allows participants to give a rank or to compare several items to one another. Example. Put in order of importance. Now, for choice, second, third, fourth. And here, I give the options. Example, content. Assessment. Communication Activity Now calculate is an advanced option so please follow me. Before doing calculation I'm gonna Choose a number type of question and write number of pages per day. And I'm going to click on settings and rename common name with Pages. Close. Add question, another number. Number of days. Also, I'm going to rename it to these close now i'll add a calculate type of question and here i will write the formula i want to do the number of pages times the number of days to do it first I'll type the dollar sign, then I'll check the column name, it's pages, write pages, times, which is the star, I'll check the column names here, which is days, dollar, days, enter now to be able to see the result i need to add it in a note i click the plus sign and add a question note the total number of pages is and i'm going to check the name of this type of question which is calculate 
the name is calculation i'm gonna change it to total number pages close and now to add the result here i'm gonna type the dollar sign then total number pages hidden is a type of question that is not seen in the form and usually it is used to store a constant for example file this type of questions allows you to upload a file this file could be a text file pdf xls xlsx doc docx rtf upload your assignment the range question can collect both integer and decimal values and is displayed like a sliding scale the participants uh, need to pick number from the scale for example Rate the effectiveness of online assessment. I need to specify the start value, example one, the end value, ten. The number of steps represents the number to pass from one value to the next one. The external XML adds a reference to an external XML data file. Let's enter different types of questions. Let's see the layout and see how the form looks like. To do so, we click on the preview form button. The form is loaded. First, this is the title. Then we have the first question, which is select one question. Participants can choose one option among the list. The second question is select many. Several options can be checked. Third question is a text question to write words. This question is an integer number question. Now, if I try to write a decimal number, it doesn't take it. The average question is a decimal question. The birth date, a date question. Now we have the time question. The date and time. Here I can point a location or search for it. This question is to upload a photo. Now, if you're working on your mobile phone, you can take a picture also.
This is an acknowledge question with just OK to click. This is the rating type of question. For example, neutral, satisfied. Now next, put an order of importance. This is a ranking question. As you can see, choices are displayed. First choice, second choice, third choice, and fourth choice. And the drop-down list will allow me to select the options. As for example, my first choice is communication, second choice is activity, third choice content, fourth assessment. Now, if you remember, number of pages is an integer type of question, I write five, number of days also an integer, four. Those were used to, uh, to view the calculate type of question. I've added the note, and within the note, I've written the address of the calculated question. Here, as you can see, the result is 20, which is 5 times 4, as written in the formula. Upload your assignment to upload a file. This is the range type of question. I can select a number within this range, 1 to 10. Okay, now Kobo Toolbox allows you to uh, change the layout of the question and this through appearance. Let's see together. Close. This is our first question. To the right, we'll see several icons. I'll go and click the first one, Settings. And in Settings, there is a field called Appearance with a drop-down list. Minimal for select one and select multiple. Answers appear in a pull-down menu. Let's see. Preview. This is the menu. Once clicked, I can see the answers. And click, clicked. Quick, it is relevant for mobile clients only. And it allows to get directly to the next question after an answer is selected. Horizontal compact for both select one and select multiple for web clients and it displays the answer choices horizontally. Let's see together. Now I can see the options in a horizontal way. Horizontal is also for web clients and it displays answers horizontally but in columns. Preview. Likert, best used for web clients and makes the answer choices appear as a Likert scale. Preview. This is the layout of a Likert scale. Compact. It displays answer choices side by side with minimal padding and without radio buttons or checkboxes.
no radio button side by side. Quick Compact, same as Compact, but auto advances to the next question directly, and this is used in mobile clients only. Label, it displays answer choices as labels and no input. I cannot choose an option. Answers are labels. List no label. Used in conjunction with label attribute and displays the answer inputs without the labels. I can see the radio button, but not the labels. Now for the other option, there is no specific appearance. It's my change based on the question type. I'll close. Most of the option for the select one are the same for Select multiple. I'll go now to take a look at the text appearance. Settings. Now in text appearance, I have multi-line numbers and also other. Multi-line best used with web clients and make the text box multiple lines long. Let's see. I have a bigger text box with several lines. Now for the integer and decimal types, there are no options for appearance. For date type, I can choose how the date will appear, month and year or year only. For example, year only and I'll go And see the preview. As you can see, it's just year appearance, and I can choose a year among the list. I cannot change appearance for time also for the date and time. So as location, now for the photo, I have many options, signature, and this allows to trace a signature into the form. The upload a photo type of question, I can no longer see the message to upload a photo, but I can trace my signature. I can choose also draw. The draw allows you to sketch a drawing with your finger on the mobile device screen. Now for annotate, you can take an image and do annotations. Preview. Click to upload, upload an image.
Once uploaded, I can annotate it. Mouse. As for the other types of questions like rating, ranking, um, integer, note, there are no other layout options or appearance. That's all regarding question types in Kobo Toolbox. Thank you for watching.